I grinned. It was Steve Leopard, my best friend. Steve's real last name was Leonard, but everyone called him Steve Leopard. And not just because the names sound alike. Steve used to be what my mum calls a wild child. He raised hell wherever he went, got into fights, stole from stores. One day, he was still in a stroller. He found a sharp stick and prodded passing women with it. No prizes for guessing where he stuck it. He was feared and despised everywhere he went. But not by me. I've been his best friend since kindergarten, when we first met. My mum says I was drawn to his wildness, but I just thought he was a great guy to be with. He had a fierce temper and threw scary tantrums when he lost it, but I simply ran away when that happened and came back again once he'd calmed down. Steve's reputation had softened over the years. His mum took him to see a lot of good counsellors who taught him how to control himself, but he was still a minor legend in the schoolyard and not someone you messed with, even if you were bigger and older than him. Hey, Steve, I called back. I'm in here. I hit the door so he'd know which one I was behind. He hurried over and I opened the door. He smiled when he saw me sitting down with my pants on. Did you puke? He asked. No, I said. Do you think you're gonna? Maybe, I said. Then I leaned forward all of a sudden and made a sick noise. Bluge, but Steve Leopard knew me too well to be fooled. Give my boots a polish while you're down there, he said and laughed when I pretended to spit on his shoes and rub them with a sheet of toilet paper. Did I miss anything in class? I asked, sitting up. Nah, he said, the usual crap. Did you do your history homework? I asked. It doesn't have to be done until tomorrow, does it? He asked, getting worried. Steve's always forgetting about homework. The day after tomorrow, I told him. Oh, he said, relaxing. Even better, I thought. He stopped and frowned. Hold on, he said. Today's Thursday. The day after tomorrow would be... Got you, I yelled, punching him on the shoulder. How? he shouted. That hurt. He rubbed his arm, but I could tell he wasn't really hurt. Are you coming out? he asked then.